bad. I could spend eternity here. I'm sorry, it's time to wake up. Wait. What? If anybody knows where all the good men of this generation are, please tell me because I can't find them. Like literally, where the fuck are they? I don't think they exist. They're in your friend zone. See, this is what happens with all these modern women. They keep rejecting these nice, good quality men because those guys are stable. See, nice and good, those type of qualities mean you're even keel. You're stoic. You have a program. These women don't like guys like that. They want to be sporadic. They want to deal with guys who are chaotic, who are toxic, who can stimulate those emotions, who can give them that up and down roller coaster feeling. So the good guy is essentially invisible. Like, where the fuck do I find a guy that's not going to cheat and lie and be a complete asshole and a horrible human being? Where do I find the nice ones? Please tell me. I'm a gold digger. Of course I just married him for the money and I'm waiting for him to die in like five years. And I only want to no deal with guys that's paying bills. Oh. I am a gold digger. I don't care. This next clip is wild. It goes to show you how delusional modern women think they are. They just think that they're so special and valuable that they deserve a man who makes a ton of money. Take a listen. How much do you expect your guy to make a year? At least seven oh, figures, seven figures at least. Do you know how difficult it is to make seven yes, figures? Absolutely, I do. I they don't know how difficult it is. Like, like, where did they get this mentality from that a guy should just make all this money and come into my life and give me all the money the gifts and, and take me on trips and I just exist. Like where I know the princess syndrome is real, but th this the delusion is off the charts. Obviously, we deserve it. Seven figures. Okay. Seven figures, both of, of you. Yes, yes, we deserve it. What? She weighs easily 225. A man making that amount of money is not trying to be with a chick like this, especially out there in the streets like this, dressed like this, belly hanging out. Naughtiest thing and nicest thing you did this year. Naughtiest thing? I cut my mom's boyfriend's shoelaces and poured syrup all in his shoes. And the nicest thing was me saying sorry because I didn't mean that shit. I'm a cheater. Yes, I'm in a relationship, but it's not working out. I'm a cheater. I have a work trip on Valentine's Day. I'm a cheater. And all my exes are crazy. Tell me your biggest secret. I'm cheating on my boyfriend with like five other guys. I'm confused how he doesn't know. Because I have a separate account. Yet. Well, why not just break up with your boyfriend? Because I love him. Don't be afraid. This is sick, man. Really? These chicks are openly admitting that they're cheating. Five guys that she did. <laughs> be safe, guys, please. This is why a lot of dudes don't want to be in relationships. They're like, man, I quit. Why, why even? So I'm going to get in a relationship with you to pay your bills and fund your life and take care of you just for you to be disloyal to me and cheat on me behind my back what man would sign up to do something like that this is what most modern relationships are it's a woman who's independent and wants to do her own thing but at the same time she wants traditional benefits from you the man and you still have to be loyal but at the same time she still can go out and, and dress how she wants and, and and talk to as many guys as she wants to get as much attention online as she wants He heard you say that you and him aren't a thing. He heard you say that, you know, you're married. And so the reason the cameras are here is because, you know, Milton wanted to have a conversation with you and stuff. And, um, and yeah, you're married. Are you, are you serious right now? Like you're, you're married. Ha ha. Like I can't, I can't wrap my mind around this right now. Like, you know why he can't wrap his mind around it? Because men, we have been sold. Since we were little boys, that women are sugar and spice and everything nice, that they can do no wrong, they can't cheat, they will never keep your kids away from you, they will always be loyal to you, they're soft, they're gentle. These chicks be doing so much dirt, man. And I'll say this, a lot of guys can, uh, can agree to this. When a woman's married or in a relationship, it's easier for her to cheat because she's starved of that male attention from that she's used to getting from other guys. So she gets bored, so she's like, hey, I'll take basically anything. So if you show a, a married woman that said a happy, stable relationship, a little bit of attention. Oh, she's jumping all over you. It's a done deal. You have a husband that you're doing the same thing with. See, you don't even know what to say. You, you, your words, your words, 
fun. I had a great time. See, there you go. This is that. That's that. What are you gonna tell him when he sees you? All right, fuck it. I am officially looking for a sugar daddy. Um, I need some fucking money. Either that or like a husband. Yeah, a husband to divorce you and take your bread. That's why most women see us being ass as an ATM, a means to an end. You pay bills and that's it. And occasionally they'll sleep with you. That's what a lot of women want. They just want transactional relationships. When they tie up paying bills, they just want you to fork over your money break out your credit card and, and fund their life all right fuck it i am officially looking for a sugar daddy um i need some fucking money either that or like a husband if there are any of those out there somewhere um ready to move in i have a half a bed i could rent out can we normalize telling each other what our savings accounts are no because i really want to know this next clip is proof that women desire attractive guys, but they don't know how to hold on to those guys. Because guys who are good looking, they have options. Guys who are successful, who have their lives together, who are on point, those dudes can treat women any type of way. Take a listen. So I realized why I want to date medium ugly. Because I went on a date with a really, really cute, beautiful boy the other day. And you know what it is? Is that they take you for granted because they get a lot of beautiful girls and they're also scared that you're obsessed with them so you're not going to get the princess treatment that you deserve so starting from now on i'm going to stand by my rule and date medium ugly you know see the medium ugly guy or the average looking guy he's loyal right he doesn't have that many options when women get with these guys and women hunt for those guys after they've been pumped and dumped by the attractive uh, good looking chads and tyrones those dudes are stable. They, you know, can't cheat on them. They're not as attractive or they can be a player. So these women feel safe. They feel secure. Those dudes typically have to pedestalize women in order to get relationships. They have to wine and dine women. They have to take them out and be chivalrous and all these different things. Guys who are good looking and attractive, they have to do none of that. All they have to do is send a, what are you doing text? All they got to do is send a, you up or come through. And those chicks are going to, I'm coming through. See. The guys who are not good looking, let's be honest with you, who's not really conventionally attractive, they have to do a lot. They have to jump through a lot of hoops. They have to be that knight in shining armor. They have to, you know, remember all the special holidays and special birthdays and, and this is that. They have to do everything right. Also got to get cut. But pretty boys are scared and they take you for granted. No, thanks. They just don't pedestalize you. They don't worship you like the average everyday guy would do. Who the hell sends pictures of your kids to your ex about a car? Because he was there for me when your ass was in Arizona. Well, if you'd stop laying on your back for other guys, maybe I wouldn't have to leave. I don't. She told me on my birthday that she wanted me to come home. And I asked her, I said, well, if you're going to, if you want me to come home, you're going to be honest with me. And she tells me that same day that she six different guys in a two month period. A pot smoking slut. Is two that months. true? Yes, it and I true. was honest with him. It's true, okay. Carrie, what's making you emotional? Pretty much everything. She literally getting her fucking the book, 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 book. Literally getting dug out, raw, raw. Are you overwhelmed? Yes. Yeah. Heart. You're raising the kids. You're every time he's left for Arizona, it's. But yet every time I've left for Arizona, two days later, you have a different in the house. No, I don't. I know exactly who that's it is. That's a long time ago. Oh, get the that. No, that's been a while. Go okay. Those messages were from a long time ago. Yeah. I'm going to go back for him really quickly. Let me see. I'll be right back.